Call the meeting to order. Please stand for the pledge and opening prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, and United States of America Republic. and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we come to you this hour asking for your blessing and help as we are gathered together. We pray for guidance in the matters at hand and ask that you would clearly show us how to conduct our work with a spirit of joy and enthusiasm. Give us the desire to find ways to excel in our work. Help us to work together and encourage each other to excellence. We ask that we would challenge each other to reach higher and farther to be the best we can be. We ask this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Roll call. We have it. Everyone is here. Supervisor Wagner is attempting virtual in and out. And everyone else is present. So would uh, seek a motion to approve the agenda that you have before you. Supervisor Swaggle. And second by Supervisor Haskey. Any questions, corrections, additions to the agenda? All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Approve the approval of the uh, previous county board minutes, which you have hopefully reviewed. Would we'll seek a motion to approve those. Uh, Supervisor Swaggle, second by Supervisor Baker. Any correction or additions to the minutes? All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Citizens input. The board will hear concerns members of the public wish to raise, but will not discuss or take action on any matter until the matter can be placed on an agenda with proper notice to the public. The board welcomes citizens to present their concerns to the board in a professional manner relevant to issues affecting Kiwani County. Each citizen may take three minutes to present their concern, and the board has allotted a total of 20 minutes for this portion of the meeting. Please be mindful the board may halt any disruptive comments and any comments that are threatening, vulgar, or abusive. Jane Seidel. Come up to the microphone, please. I don't see a green light. Yeah. Oh. All right, putting putting that law degree to good use. My name is Jane Seidel. I live on the corner of County Road B and County Road F. And my concern are date breaks. We're still having a lot of issues with independent trucks. Um, the farmers have been helping with the situation. They've been very good about trying to take care of the problems that they have with their own drivers. Um, many of the companies have participated in this also, but we still have a few independent local trucks that are using their great break.
trying to solve it, to find a solution to this problem because there is a lot of trust traffic through there. So thank you for listening and I hope we can figure this out. Thank you. Nervous about being in front of this group? I, I don't understand at all. Any other citizen input? No. no? Does anyone else, anyone else wish to speak? Does anyone else wish to speak? Anyone wish to speak? Okay. Move on. The recognition of David Cornelius on his retirement from the sheriff's department. Are you or the sheriff going to uh, speak? On this? While I oh. could wax poetic about Mr. Cornelius, Please I think don't. it's probably best to have the sheriff do that. And if Mr. Cornelius could uh, pretty, come up front as well. I'm pretty confident the sheriff will wax shorter. Exactly, Mr. <laughs> Chair. Exactly. All right.
Thank you. We'll move on to appointments. We'll do them separately. Human Service Services Board appointment, Milton Swagel. Look for a motion. Supervisor Haskey, second Supervisor Kinnard. The reason for this and the next appointment, our Supervisor Peisler had a change in his work schedule and uh, after talking to him, uh, we uh, decided that uh, it would be helpful to him if we uh, uh, had uh, others to serve on those committees in order to make sure those committees are uh, full at this time. Any other questions, comments? All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Next appointment. Extension Education and Zoning Committee, Joanne Lazansky. Supervisor Romden, second by Supervisor Lukes. Any questions, discussion? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carries. Next appointments. Jail Strategy Committee, Dan Olson, John Massler, Gary Poppy, and Doak Baker. Supervisor Vollenweider, second by Supervisor Kroll. Any questions, discussion? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We'll move on to annual reports and other reports. That would be Kiwani County Administrator, Mr. Felt. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just have two items. One, just a reminder for those that may be interested, we are still looking for adult volunteers to participate in Door Kiwani Legislative Days. Uh, we will be doing that virtually. Uh, we will not be doing that uh, through, we will not be traveling to Madison. So we look at trying to do it via Zoom or some other WebEx, some type of uh, electronic means. So for those that may be interested, please contact me. We're looking at doing that in early April, the first week of April. So thank you regarding that. The second item has to do with uh, the recently passed American uh, Rescue Plan that was passed. Uh, just for those that are town officials, uh, Kiwani County itself will be receiving three, uh, it's projected that the county will be receiving $3.96 million and all cities, towns and villages added together will be adding another 2.02. .02. So basically almost $6 million will be coming into Kiwani County from that uh, legislation. Uh, I have uh, contacted town chairs as well as mayors and city administrators and village presidents to make them aware that I'm trying to schedule a meeting for March 30th and 31st, both of those evenings to start talking about and planning how to possibly uh, allocate that money. I know that there are towns, the you have towns that are getting uh, a total payment of anywhere from, uh, $80,000 up to $130,000. I'm not sure that townships have that much uh, PPE and, and plastic and disinfectant spray that they can allocate, but would like to have the conversations as to uh, what things that they could possibly allocate that for and see if there's any partnerships that could be made available to support uh, EMS ambulances or, or fire service or something to that respect. But I thought first we should kind of have that conversation. So um, we'll start those conversations now. From the county standpoint, the county will be receiving half of our allocation, which would be roughly just under $2 million within 60 days straight from the federal government. The, count, the cities, towns, and villages, they will get their distribution from the states, from the state who will get that allocation again also from, from 60 days. The part that, and I know there might be a bunch of questions, we're not sure yet what are the guidelines or restrictions for, for the use of that money. We're waiting to see that from the federal government. 
but I just wanted the county to be aware as well as county board members who may be local officials. So that way we can start having some of those discussions because I would like to see as much of that money staying within Kiwani County because if, it, if we don't uh, allocate all of it, we would then return it and it would probably be spent someplace else. So I just wanted people to be aware. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I, I can take questions if there's questions. Any questions for Mr. Felt? Thank you, Mr. Felt. Committee reports. You should have reviewed all of the minutes. Highway solid waste, any questions? Executive committee, any questions? Public Health and Veterans Committee. UW Extension Committee. Land and Water Committee. Yes, sir. May I make a comment on you something in the minutes? Certainly can. Okay. <clears throat> I just want to make aware to the board, if you haven't read the minutes, uh, we had a lengthy discussion in Land and Water on some of the issues we're having in the village of Casco and the town of Casco with very high nitrates. Um, we talked for quite a while with Davina. There was a fair amount of people at our meeting. Uh, it is a concern in our area. Uh, some of the nitrates were getting quite high. We actually had a business uh, that is gonna have to be drilling a new well or recasing it. They run a daycare and uh, the numbers were too high to be using the water for their little kids. So um, we're having a discussion with some of the folks that use the land around the village of Casco, including the village of Casco uh, and in the township to discuss if there's things we can do to try to get these nitrate levels back down to healthy amounts. Uh, there's been a fair amount of well testing done already in the village and around in the town. And the numbers are slightly high, a little bit alarming at times. So I just want the board to be aware that is something that you're gonna be hearing about in the future and we're gonna continue to discuss it and, and try to get this under control a little bit. So the village of Casco, that's all individual wells. It is correct. And yep. they've never looked at any other alternatives. Well, I, we I have looked at alternatives. I know it's expensive, <laughs> but you yeah. know, it's obviously safer. Maybe the government will give us some of that money. We can put up a water tower. So we'll see what happens. Well, you know, they're printing money all the time. Uh -huh. uh, any other questions on uh, land and water or comments? Uh, Supervisor Volenweider? Uh My question is, how old, what's the age of the well that's in question? The well that is in question that they're going to be working on right now uh, was from 2014. Uh, they're recasing it. They're going down farther. They're doing some adjustments to it, not guaranteeing that it'll get below 12. Anytime you get over a 10, uh, there's a problem. And especially with the little kids that are at that daycare, uh, the state sort of said, you need to do something now. And their hand was forced and uh, they're doing the best they can to make it work for their business. But there's not a lot of funding out there for businesses uh, to help them out, so. All right, thank you. Any thank other you. questions for, yes, sir, Supervisor Yonke? I was wondering how many uh, septic systems need to be upgraded to meet the code in our county? Got that number at the tips of your uh, fingers there, Supervisor Kennard. We don't have a uh, Supervisor Wagner here tonight. Now he probably would. I can uh, answer that question, <laughs> Mr. Chair. Yes, uh, Mr. Felt, please. Roughly, there's uh, roughly about 4,000 septics, uh, or 4,000 and change within the county. And I know not in any specific township, but well over 90% of all septics are in compliance. Some are need uh, some changes and others have still not received uh, a test yet. So that should give you a general idea, Supervisor Yankee. Well, um, Supervisor Poppy just handed me something here, says old and out, uh, this is updated 221. So um, I actually, I guess I could just forward this to Supervisor Yankee rather. Oh yeah, in the minutes. So there we are. I want to say, if we had Supervisor Wagner here tonight, he'd be able to tell us the 20 year history on what uh, it was, you know, all the way through and what it is currently. But so somebody asked a question and we don't have them tonight. 
Any other questions for Land and Water? Uh, Public Safety and Justice Committee, any questions? Finance and Public Property, any questions? Human Services. This is super. Yep. Supervisor Wagner, you're coming in a little late, but go ahead. Uh, well, I've been listening to the nice music on the uh, on what the Zoom call, waiting to get uh, <laughs> connected for 15 minutes, um, and that's after hanging up and dialing back in a second time. Um, I guess I just caught the tail end of somebody asking a question, and I don't want to yeah, stretch were... anything out for a 20-year history. But what was that about? Yes, he was a uh, supervisor. Yonke was asking the number of uh, septic systems in the county that need to be brought into compliance. Well, at our last meeting, um, we are getting very close, although there are a number of people going, I believe, back to as far as even 2017 that were contacted, uh, that were supposed to update their systems, and they are still fighting it or not doing it. Now, the, you know, uh, Mr. Wisnicki has been dealing with some of these and taking some of these people to court, um, and he might also know that process, but... Uh, we are getting very close to, I think it's well over 90% right now that we've had updated. But like I said, we've had uh, a few people each year, uh, some dating back as far as 2017 that are not complying. Okay. Thank you very much, Supervisor Wagner. And I was just kidding. I didn't think you'd actually go back a full 20 years. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I mean, I've been on the board since 1999, so that's over 21 years. Okay. Well, maybe you would have gone 20. All right. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Uh, that's helpful. Human Services Committee. Parks, promo, and maintenance. Looks like they had a very good year, huh? Despite a uh, fairly short season. So very good. And the uh, ice skating rink uh, went very well as well, huh? How many days were you actually able to have that in operation? Probably not terribly many this year, huh? Quite a few. <laughs> Quite a few. <laughs> About a month. Well, a month in Wisconsin doesn't seem terribly long, but it's, uh, you know, what can you do? Dave has got a video with a drone flying over everything. Okay. It looks slick. We got to get it up there sometime, Dave. Yeah, very good. <laughs> and between now and next year, we got to find out a way to charge. <laughs> no, <laughs> not yet. If we can, not yet. Well, if we can get some revenue, you know, that's always good. We're right? thinking yeah. of adding another rink, so. Another rink. Yeah. You know what I've seen in other places is where they, you know, bring in an outside uh, company and they rent uh, skates, you know, and you kind of get to be able to charge. So just a thought, always looking for ways to bring revenue. Need someone to run that booth. Yeah. Are you volunteering? Uh, no. Okay. No. 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 Uh, I might go out and be, you know, one of those, uh, the, the uh, people on the ice that, you know, with the whistle, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> Me and Mastelier. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pony. All right. Enough of that. Uh, Business Development Loan Fund Committee, KCEDC. Broadband Study Committee. I have a question, Mr. Felt. They told us uh, March we'd uh, start to have things happening. The month's not over, but is something happening? Uh, I know that they've gotten approvals from, I believe, most of the townships, if not all. Uh, I have not heard back from Bug Tussle, but I can send an email to them to uh, verify whether the whether the equipment is up and ready to go. Please do. It'd be be nice to know uh, when exactly the the switch is going to get flipped on that. They did say March. M month's not over. Any other questions? Broadband, public safety, facility study committee. No recess. Uh, first reading of ordinance. County sales and use tax ordinance. We have a motion, or do you wish to say something on that first, uh, Mr. Felt? Is there anything needs to be explained? It's pretty straightforward. This is on just for first reading, so the board has oh, right. one of them. Um, yeah, we can't have a motion. Right, so. have a brief discussion. 
Right. Are there any questions on this? It's uh, it would seem pretty straightforward, huh? Uh, the county has had the half cent sales tax. If we discontinue it, then uh, we need to come up with a plan for uh, figuring out where we're going to find about what 1.2 million in revenue. We budgeted for 2021 1.15 million. Okay, so about 1.2 million, and I don't, uh, you know, unless supervisor, uh, unless Mr. Felt has a tree out uh, in the back here somewhere, that would be hard to come by. All right, any uh, any other discussion on the uh, county sales tax at this time? Excuse me. Yes, sir. Is that acceptable at this point, five or the percentage that it is now, or you want to raise it or lower it or just leave it as it is, or? I don't believe uh, we don't have the option at this time of raising. From state law, Supervisor Swagel, the most that we can, it's either 0. 0.5 or it's zero. Okay, you have you. one or the other. Thank you, sir. Okay, consideration of resolutions. A resolution authorizing an application for and acceptance of financial assistance for 2021-2022 Coney Snowmobile Trail and ATV Trail Rehabilitation Projects. Fiscal impact, 53,370 in snowmobile funding, 9,500 in ATV funding. Supervisor Vollenweider. Supervisor Dell, second. Any other discussion? All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Next resolution, please. County so Surveyor. Do I have a motion? Supervisor Haskey, second by Supervisor Lukes. Discussion? All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next uh, resolution, please. A resolution awarding the contract for the County AB Main Street resurfacing project, fiscal impact 507,673 from 2021 Highway Department budget. Motion by Supervisor Poppy, second by Supervisor Augustine. Discussion? Supervisor Swagel. It said in there that it was going to be done by a private company instead of the county. Is that correct? Correct. That's much cheaper, much more economical. Uh, Super, uh, Mr. Wisnicki, I think you should answer that. This is a situation where it's a partnership with the village of Luxembourg. We are, because it's a county highway rolling through the village, we're required to maintain a certain, basically the middle section, if you will. The village obviously wants the parking lanes and, and make it wider for the village needs. So that's on the village dime. But I think part of the funding of this project is coming from some state or federal pot of money. And based upon the rules of that program, we're required to bid this out. So that's why uh, this project is being bid out. And the, the village is doing some sewer water yeah. work. And the village is also doing some extra work. So it, it, like I said, it's a partnership with the village. And, and, and I think the main reason it's being bid out is because one of the funding streams requires that. Right, so I didn't mean to imply that our uh, our department could not do the work uh, extremely well or economically, but there's uh, rules that Mr. Wisnicki uh, has better, uh, better able to explain for us. Any other questions? All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next resolution. A resolution approving property lease agreement, bail host to Riverview Transfer Inc. Fiscal impact, 6,151 annual rent subject to CPI increases. Tonnage tipping fees, $1 per ton for the first thousand tons, $2 per ton for the for, for 1,001 to 2,500 tons, $3 per ton for any tonnage in excess of 2,500 tons, $4 per ton for any tonnage in excess of 10,000. Motion. Supervisor Romden, second by Supervisor Baker. Questions? Supervisor Lukes. Um, what kind of tonnage are you hauling in there now, John? Uh, 
It would be over uh, over four thousand ton. Supervisor uh, Swaggle, you had a question as well. Thank you. H how do you come at these rates for your, your charging, Mr. Mastler? <clears throat> these rates were negotiated. I think 2017 was the first contract, and these are the rates we negotiated then. The 6,151 originally back in 17, that was 6,000. It's been adjusted over the years to CPI, so now it's up to 6,151 dollars. Um, what is new this time is the four dollars over ten thousand tons. Uh, we're hopeful, and Mr. Master is hopeful he has some increase in tonnage. The main reason we're looking to update this lease agreement is first, in 2017 when we entered into this agreement, from the county standpoint, we weren't quite sure how this was going to work. Maybe this is something we didn't want. Um, so the original lease sort of gave both parties an out if it wasn't working well. Um, now it's working well, as I understand it, for both parties, and we're in a position where, you know, this is basically a problem off of our plate. We have a beneficial use of these facilities. We have to pay, because there's a landfill there, we have to pay to the town certain long-term care fees. So these, the 6000 more than covers that. I think we pay something over 4000 to the town of West Line. Additionally, we make a few bucks off the tipping fee. And the other issue that John has, and he's in a position where he needs to maintain the building to some extent. Uh, that building was probably built in the early 80s, and I don't think we've spent more than a dime on it since then. So John's going to have to do some repairs there. And, and I think the main issue there is John wants to make some capital expenditures by uh, new contacts and device or something. So he needs some level of security to justify that expense. We're completely happy we, this property is taken care of and our, our community has an outlet to take their garbage too. So it works for all parties concerned. Uh, if we didn't have Mr. Mastler, that property would be sitting there idle and falling apart. So uh, that's why we basically, now we've extended it out for to 2020, excuse me, 2031, 31. Um, and it's a firm lease now, meaning we can't get out of it, nor John can get out of it, unless there's cause. Meaning he's not paying the rent or there's some other breach of the contract. Uh, so this is a firm lease for 11 years um, going forward. So there's the, there's the history for you. Any other questions? All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Chair, uh, I'm going to guess that Mr. Massler is going to want to abstain at this vote. Okay. Duly noted. Consideration of ordinance at previous county board meeting. There are none. Communications. From Wood County. To reaffirm Wood County's commitment to taking action to reduce its contribution to climate change. County to support a nonpartisan procedure for the preparation of legislative and congressional redistricting plans. Wood County support efforts of four statewide organizations introduce clean water measures legislatively this term. Outagamie County call on the Wisconsin legislature to listen to the dozens of Wisconsin healthcare organizations and support the governor's new public health emergency declaration and call on the Wisconsin State Legislature to work in concert with Governor Evers to pass legislation establishing cons consistent science-based and enforceable statewide measures for controlling the COVID-19 pandemic and expediting our economic and educational recovery. And from Price County, el request elimination of the 0% levy cap imposed on Wisconsin counties. Thank you. Iwani County events. Do we have any? Okay. I just have one item, Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Just for information for the board, for anyone that may have any questions regarding KCDC, we do have the new executive director, Ben Nelson, in the back row there. We put him in the corner by the sheriff to make sure that he behaves. But if you have any questions regarding KCDC or what's going on from an economic development standpoint, 
he's here to uh, answer any questions or concerns you may have. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Any other Kewanee County events? Okay. Uh, chair comments, I have no comments at this time. Uh, it's meeting dates for future meetings. So we have April 27th and uh, May 18th, they're already scheduled. Uh, June 15th at 6 p.m. is proposed. We need a motion for that. Supervisor Romden, seconded by Supervisor Baker. Uh, any discussion on that? All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I don't know how we're gonna get a motion to adjourn here tonight without uh, Wagner present. This, uh, can you hear me? This is Supervisor Wagner, motion to adjourn. Ah, uh, there, we, there we go. Otherwise I was afraid we'd be here all night because I knew Mastler wasn't gonna make it. He's gonna vote against. Uh, do we have a second on that? Supervisor Baker, any discussion? All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. We're adjourned. Uh, if I could uh, have uh, 